So I get asked a lot of questions in the comments by you guys. One of the biggest questions and most often asked is, what kind of violin and bow do you have? And the answer to that is not very simple because it usually comes with a follow-up question, what should I get? A lot of you are watching my channel and might not even have an instrument yet or are looking for a new one. And I usually respond with links to a couple of websites that I've used to purchase violin gear from before. Luckily, all these websites have violins for beginner, intermediate, advanced level players, so you can choose appropriately you know, for what your needs are. They also have accessories such as you know, a shoulder rest, different types of chin rests, all sorts of stuff. But I figured I'd make a video giving you guys some leads as to where to purchase gear. And by gear, I mean the instrument itself, the bow, and also any accessories. So to start playing violin, you really do need two things very badly. And number one is a violin. And number two is a violin bow. That's really it. That's all you need to begin playing. But a couple things you should have as well, I'll go over right now. The first is a shoulder rest. This thing right here. This is what sits on your shoulder and creates a space between you know, your shoulder and your chin. Very traditional violin teachers will often not have you use a shoulder rest. But unfortunately, I have to say, humans have evolved to have longer necks than they did like 300 years ago when they didn't use shoulder rests, and they're pretty necessary at this point. Almost all professional violinists use a shoulder rest there is absolutely nothing wrong with using a shoulder rest. It's not, doesn't go against tradition. It doesn't ruin your sound. It's just a tool that makes your playing easier and also keeps your neck like much healthier. This is not comfortable at all. It's hard, it's pointy, it doesn't sit right. This though, you can see my violin's like almost going up. I have to kind of adjust it and hold it to keep it flat, but that's a good thing because I'm not doing as much work and I'm not straining my neck as much. So, the third thing you should buy, third, third, third thing you should buy after a violin and the violin bow is a shoulder rest. Luckily, the fourth thing that you should buy almost always comes with the violin and that is the violin case. A brand new case is something that you should really only buy once you actually play the violin for a couple of years and you have a really nice instrument and you want to protect it, you really don't have to spend money on a separate case for your violin. Whatever case comes with the violin that you buy first is perfectly fine. Once you get up into the higher, higher tiers of instruments and you're spending $2,000 on a violin, you might want to drop a couple hundred dollars on a good case. Number five is actually something that also often comes with the violin and the case also. It's like a big package. And that is rosin. So I have used this rosin for probably seven to eight years. And I've gone one way putting the rosin on until it developed this little like slit in there just by using it a lot. So I actually flipped it around and I'm starting a new one. 
This is black, dark, resin, rosin. It's different than the stuff that will probably come in your case. The rosin in your case most likely is going to be amber rosin. It's like a light orange yellow stuff and it's not terrible, but it is a little cheap. It will do the job as a beginner for your instrument, but over time, it might be nice to invest in some darker resin rosin. Piastro Rosin, that is the brand I would recommend. It's a bit more money, but if you are an intermediate player and you're looking for some really, really good rosin, that is the type I would recommend by brand. Number six is something that might not be necessarily needed for you immediately when you start playing, but they're always helpful to have in case, you know, you live in an apartment complex. If there's anybody in your general vicinity that isn't too into you practicing your instrument at like 11:30 at night, what I'm saying is to get one of these. This is a violin mute, and what it does is it sits on your bridge and it dulls the sound of your violin, but you can still play perfectly. This is with no mute. And this is with the mute on. So it doesn't actually mute the whole instrument, it just dampens the sound. So the mute is really nice because it actually just like sits here, like loose on the string and just hangs out there when you don't need it. But when you do need it, all you gotta do is bring it up and it kind of just like sits and pushes down on the bridge. And all that does is prevent the bridge from vibrating too much. It makes it vibrate, vibrate less and dampens the sound so you can practice a little quieter. So all six things that I just listed, the package deal being the case, bow, violin, and amber, cheaper rosin, those four things should come together and be about $200, $250. The shoulder rest is going to be about between $20 and $40, depending on what kind you buy. And the nice rosin that I just showed you is also going to be between $20 and $40. And the mute costs like 50 cents a dollar. It's a little tiny piece of rubber. So overall, you're looking at around $300 for a really quality, standard beginner setup. Obviously, you can go less than that. You don't have to buy the rosin. They make foam, like very, very cheap foam shoulder rests that just kind of hook on with a rubber band. Those are perfectly fine to start off with. I actually started on one of those, and those only cost about five bucks. So you can bring your price down to $200, $250 max. But if I was gonna be starting violin now and had asked somebody professionally for help, this is what I would have hoped they would have suggested to me when I started playing an instrument. There's a million other little things that I could go on about, you know, dehumidifiers, getting new strings, uh, music stand, all of that stuff is important. But to start off to play, you really just need that package deal and maybe those two little upgrades. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I really, 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 really wanted to do this video for a long time just because I get so many questions on this on every video I do. As I said before, I'm not really going to go into the advanced level tiers, the really, really expensive violins and what you should be looking for because I don't have a violin like that. I've honestly never looked at violins at that caliper. And those people already know exactly what they should be looking for and what they want. For you beginners out there, I really hope this video answered some questions you had. If it didn't, please ask me questions down below and I would love to help you out. I'm gonna talk about one website today. One website today that I use and almost always use for all of my myelin gear ordering. The website is sharmusic.com. S-H-A-R-M-U-S-I-C.com. And they're a medium-sized company. They're not huge, they're not like Guitar Center, but they focus on classical instruments such as violin, cello, viola, upright bass. And they have all sorts of instruments of different levels, you know, very beginner, 
intermediate, advanced, professional as well. They have a couple like $100,000 violins on the website. And the best part is they have lots and lots of package deals like the bow, case, violin, and rosin all together, that kind of a deal. I'm gonna link that below. You guys should definitely check out charmusic.com. I've been buying from them literally my entire violin career. And they've only gotten better. Their website's only gotten more upgraded, more products, and they're just great. Jar Music, I'm talking to you. I love you. And that's about it. I hope this video answered some questions you guys might have had. Please leave any questions, as I said before, in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.